During the courtship ritual, male oryxes follow a distinct sequence of behaviors. Initially, male oryx sniffs the female's genital region to sense reproductive pheromones, similar to other ungulates. The male determines if a female is in estrus using the lip curling flame in response after assessing her scent or urine. Following this, he might engage in nuzzling and subsequently attempt to mount. Mala oryxes engage in ritualized combat to establish dominance. They use their long, straight horns, which can reach lengths of up to 85 centimeters. These fights can be intense but are typically non-lethal, as the males aim to demonstrate strength without inflicting serious injury. The behavior could also be a form of dominance or victory display. By scraping the ground vigorously, the winning oryx might be emphasizing its triumph to any onlookers or the defeated opponent. Horn size and shape play an essential part in mate selection. As horns are used by male oryx during fights for dominance or territorial disputes, larger and more robust horns in males could be seen as a sign of greater fitness. Also, long and sharp horns can deter and seriously injure formidable predators such as lions. Therefore, it's plausible to think that partner choice based on horn characteristics makes it advantageous for survival. To increase the chances of calf survival, oryxes find the optimal timing of the mating season. Breeding during the rainy season ensures that calves are born when food is more plentiful. Also, since the offspring can be at risk from potential predators, this optimal mating season helps female oryx to hide her calf in grass ores and for up to six weeks, which is a behavior common in antelopes. 